Zombies. I need mana. Zombies. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Not enough mana. Jesus. No! I am being surrounded. Oh god. Oh god. Oh oh goodness. Not good. Zon boo. Zon boo? I'll fight you. IRL. Gonna have to look into desert yetis. I'm curious. Oh no, it's red. Oh no, it's red. Oh, there's special ones. Oh goodness. Gore belly. Damn, CK needs to have more pop, pop attorneys. They're you have another one in January. They're gonna start doing them pretty regularly. People love them. I'm just afraid that like those popper tournaments are just gonna burn out, like the modern ban modern no ban list tournaments. Which I mean that just means that the event coordinating staff needs to like be all like hip and ever changing. Right above the curve. And I'm not gonna be a part of it, because I don't wanna I did that job for too long. I'm I'm good. Yeah, January 2nd should be uh, the next popper tournament, and their uh, registrations, like, earliest early Jan or early December. That wouldn't be a terrible thing. Rotating formats means more people buying singles from Card Kingdom. True facts. Yeah, I think that's, like, that's not a terrible idea, like, having, having various tournaments. Like keeping everything rotating and doing different things, because then you can like continue ripping through your uh, like the weird singles that Hello. never sell. Because I mean, man, man, are people buying Cloud of Fairies now? Like, I think I think Card Kingdom like last I checked was like buying them for like twenty five cents each, which is like Cloud of Fairies. Really, I have like boxes of those back from back from my day. And like they sold out of snaps. I was like, what? Really? Sold out of snap. Alright. Hip hop! I need to kill those guys. I have tons of them from when I started playing Magic. Yeah, I know, right? Like it's it's just a it's a common I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh my one of my first decks played uh played Cloud of Fairies because I thought the deck was sweet. Because you're like, what? You get a flyer and you have to pay nothing for it? That's awesome. I am overburdened. I uh, DK, I really like the idea of Cartoon doing weird formats. I do too. I like I like the weird formats. They're fun. I need mana. It breaks up the monotony of like playing standard over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Not enough mana. I'm super pumped about them doing Legacy 1Ks monthly. Like, 1K caches monthly. It's nutso. Die already! You stop attacking me, Burning Dead. Maybe just don't uh, go totally nuts like something popper, but monocolors only because though modern black control would be OP because oh, I paid it. I don't I don't want to pay seven hundred dollars for a standard deck. Yeah, that's one of the miserable things is that like it's, uh, like paying paying seven hundred bucks for a standard deck. Sure, like I. I've paid more for legacy decks, but paying seven hundred dollars for a standard deck every six months because they constantly rotate, it hurts me, like right down here, in my heart. Uh, IDK, if I can do the the one K, just because I'm not good enough to ever come close to winning one, that's fair. I mean, like, 
I guess I'm like the worst person to, to talk about this because I'm a sore loser. Um, but like, I don't know. Go and have fun in the one case. Like, big magic tournaments are super fun to play in. Uh, oh god, I can't read. I can't read the things in the chat room while I'm being attacked. Ah, uh, movement. Not gonna be able to respond. Surrounded by bad guys. Out of mana. I'm out of mana. Manana. Manamana. I'm sorry, I'm out of phenomena. Do 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 do. Oh my god, unravelers. Enough of your shenanigans. Oh shit. One of these things is like. Oh, it's, is it me? Am I lightning enchanted? Oh god, I'm dying. Run, 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 run. Okay. Uh. You need to die. Like, right now. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna get caught up. Jesus. Uh, but I'll definitely apply to Judge. Yeah, that'd be pretty rad. I mean, I was thinking about it, but I don't know. Uh, apple pie is the best pie. Incorrect. Apple pie is not the best pie. It's pretty good pie. It's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking good pie. But best pie... I feel like pumpkin's better than apple. Like, apple's definitely, like, top tier. Pumpkin's top tier. Lemon meringue's top tier. Uh, Boston cream, top tier as fuck. Also, Diablo 2 takes forever to download. I don't know if that's true. I feel like it, does, it shouldn't take that long. But then I'm also on gigabit condo internet, so... Sorry. Um, yeah, I downloaded, like, when Fallout 4 came out, I downloaded it and had it installed in, like, 20 minutes, because, yeah. Um, should I play, Dia should I download Diablo 2 to play? Hell yeah, you should. You also have to download both of those, base and expansion. If I was going to pay $700 for a deck, I'd buy into Grixis Twin. That's probably true. I'm fine with losing, I just don't want to pay $25 to lose. I'll go and pay $15 weeklies. That's also a good idea. I'm here because my girlfriend and roommate are both gay gone, and I'm lonely, and I got tired of Dying Light kicking my ass. I haven't heard. I haven't played Dying Light. Is it good? Because it's been on my list. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait until I get my new PC to play the game. My current laptop can't barely play it. I haven't picked up Dying Light yet, but it's on my list. Dying Light is fantastic, but also gets monotonous and frustrating. There are some things you can't cancel out, like opening chests. Sometimes you just get shrekt. Strawberry rhubarb, all the other pies. Boom! I, okay, so we actually had this conversation. Uh, it's fresh in my mind as to what the best pie is, because we had this conversation on Saturday after the uh, popper tournament with me and some friends. And we were talking about what's the best pie, and I was the only person who was like lemon, or uh, strawberry rhubarb is like my favorite pie, and everybody else is like, uh, uh, I don't know if that's good. I like shitty pies. It's all about strawberry rhubarb. I'm so excited to build a new PC. It's going to be dumb. I uh, I haven't built a new PC in like a while. And a friend of mine was like, here's all the computer parts. Can you put my computer together? And so I did. Um, and man, I really like putting computers together. I miss, I, that was like one of my hobbies back when I had a lot more I wouldn't say more disposable income, but I will say less bills, because I was living with my dad, and so I could just, like, throw money at shit and be like, Bruh. actually, I even have props in front of me. I could just throw money at shit and be like, blah, 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 blah. it was hella worth it, <laughs> um, and I could just, like, build a new computer every, like, six months or whatever, um, especially at the time when you kind of had to. And, uh, man, it was so fun. And, like, getting mods and stuff like that, and, like, liquid cooling, and getting, like, all kinds of cool LEDs and shit. It was really rad. But, alas, I have to be responsible now. Um, Dying Light is awesome. Best open world game I've played in a while. 
Oh shit. Might have to give it a try then. I like open world games. To a point though. Because there was a, there was a one that was the, the time when like Daisy and Rust and fucking everything was coming out. And all those Minecraft clones were a thing, and everything that everyone was putting out was that kind of like open worldy type game. And I just like, got to a point after playing them just nonstop that I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck this! I can't, I can't play any more of these games. I need like I, I at the time I just wanted a game that was like a fucking rail shooter where it just like." carried me along the storyline and I didn't have to make any choices. I just had to do things because I got so just run down of like, oh my god, everything is open world sandbox. Everything. Uh, it's my favorite pie probably because my grandma made it. New PC is going to be 144 hertz, 1440p gaming rig. <laughs> Why do you have $1,000 in 20s? I don't have $1,000 in 20s. It's like $400 in 20s. That's because Chris paid me for rent. Kind of. Part of the rent. Um, and I just haven't tossed it into an ATM yet. I worked at a tech shop, so I got to build custom computers for other people. That's that's miserable, though. Like, building custom computers for other people is, like, stone cold the worst. Uh, because... Yeah, like... You have to put all the effort into it, and all like you have to do all of the cool things, but then you don't get any of the end result. That's, that's awful. Uh, the way, way, way different. It's way, way, way different from Daisy. That's good because Daisy, Daisy hurt me emotionally. Like having just like hours and hours and hours of time and effort just plucked from you because one dude rips on the corner with an M16 and murders you. It's like, okay, cool. I hate everything about this game and humanity. And I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, this game is f like super fucked. This would never happen in real life. And then I think about it, I'm like, if the zombie apocalypse were to happen, people would shoot first, ask questions later. 100% of the time. Like, there's, there's times where, like, I'll be playing Fallout and, like, there's a dude off in the distance and I'm like, hmm, that guy's either a raider that's gonna try to kill me or somebody important. I'm gonna shoot him first and see if he actually tries to kill me. Or see if he's, like, a raider or whatever. And, yeah. Like, I feel like the same situation would happen if you're, like... This guy could be cool, or he could be a psychopath with a with a 9mm that's just going to murder me. So most people would probably just kill on sight. Uh, Dying Light is a parkour nonsense. It's a spi spiritual successor to Dead Island. I've also never played Dead Island. I heard it's alright, though. I heard the second one's miser bad, though. Uh, well, the last Assassin's Creed games have been awful parkour physics. I've only played the first. Yeah, I've only played the first Assassin's Creed, and I think it was it was too repetitious for me. I, like, the storyline was kind of neat, but, like, I don't know. It was hard to, like, go through, like, save this thing, look off of this balcony, then finally kill this guy, and all the fighting was repetitious, which I heard that, they, like, they fixed it a little bit, but it was... I couldn't do it. Sorry. Assassin's Creed 2 is a thousand times better than number a thousand percent better than one. That's what I've heard. I should probably give it a try. I don't know. Cheats! I know you're out of mana. Mama. And hook me for the entire series. Uh, Dying Light can be played 100% single player, but you can also play online with allies, and you can en enable Night Hunter invasions, which is kind of like Dark Souls. A player as a superpowered zombie tries to kill you, and you try to kill his nest. Cool. It's interesting because it happens 100% organically while you're just running around. It's super intense. Assassin's Creed 1 is pretty much a tech demo for Assassin's Creed 2. That's good. I'm, I I don't know. I've heard way too many good things about Assassin's Creed 2 to like not give it a try. I'll probably end up... If it's, I'm assuming it'll probably be on like some Ubisoft bundle or some shit. Oh god, get in there! 12 life, not bad. Assassin's Creed 1 felt like a tech demo to me. Assassin's Creed 1's felt, yeah, like an alpha tech demo, where they're like, 
hey, we haven't really like ironed out the fighting mechanics, but when we do, it's gonna be really cool. And then they're like, what do you